Hello, welcome back. Um, today uh, we are gonna continue the inscription thing. Uh, after not able to beat the boss, I tried it like two more times. Uh, but then I was successful at beating it. I think it was the FTA boss, which is a little embarrassing. Uh, but here's what um, we got to know about it. Apart from card sacrifices, now every card every animal card gives us bone tokens and that's another kind of economy um, that can be spent to get to play cards powerful cards um we also had uh, we also had i think bones in the backpack bone tokens just for rainy day uh, let's continue and see i think i think i s finished up the first scroll and now we are the se second scroll um okay yes so here we are at the second scroll but before we begin uh i would like to showcase the rule book again um it has a lot of these things this is still abilities and this is 23 and it has a sh very big ton of abilities. I don't want to go and understand each and every one of it, but there are some blotted as well as to give, just to entice the player to keep playing and try to understand what it is. I think this loops back again, even after I hit zero, I'm just going to try that. Um, and let's just keep it. The box done. Oh, yeah, there was this thing called. Oh, that was very spooky. These eyes. Uh, I'm gonna try and sit back down and continue our journey forward. Um, bullfrog. We have the bullfrog. Yes, we definitely have porcupine. We don't, and a rattler, which requires six. So this is a this is a new bone sign. Six. It requires six bone tokens to play it. Right now, our deck is quite heavy, actually. At the other, we got the stoat, rabbit pelt, amalgam. Hmm. I think having a rat is useful. Yup, we have 10 cards on it. I really like the patchwork. Uh, even though it kind of covers the graphics a little bit. Uh, you want the player to know. This is, this is actually a very interesting design choice for designers. Like, how much do you want? the information like what information is vital and what information is secondary uh, like over here the snake graphic was considered secondary to the cards effects which makes sense right um or or they could have like tried to do something like over overdo the patch of the skull and have Two, like two symbols at the same patchwork in the same space in the bottom center which might have worked but could have been a little more chaotic um, and when I say a lot, of, a lot of these words right that it could have been uh, all of these things are not really like just thought of and took decisions on like each and everything is almost play tested it has to be play tested to understand what kind of lands and what doesn't um i'm a very big proponent of playtesting quick prototypes and ideas uh i think even on this even on this front when i'm saying uh, a middle bottom center patchwork could have worked or could have been more chaotic it would have been again it would have gotten down uh precisely to playtesting and see whether um it is landing as expected or it's like absolutely missing the point 
so yeah play testing is definitely a good measure like a little test whether proof of concept or the idea itself is gonna land powerful item turns this turn this and i'll skip your skip my next turn oof Oh, this is this is the this is the bone thing that I was talking about. Uh, I have a plier, but I really like this hourglass thing. Oh no, you can't use that. Must be this hard. I know this this kind of gives you the airborne effect, but I am up for trying something new. The idea here is I'm trying to see what like different kinds of things that they've thought of and implemented in the first place like apart from the card symbols the i think this is a generated map if not then it's pretty well thought out then back like elements and ideas probably there will be a time where i can increase the 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 capacity that i can carry um Hmm, this is an interesting choice. So these ones are new symbols which kind of give this stamping effect that the opponent had in the tutorial ones. So I'm just gonna go over to the mini boss and just think about later on what I wanna do about it. I gotta thank you. How was how has it been? It has been quite bad and trapped in the body of a stuffed in the paper of a card. I see that. I have a, a way to reset once more. So, our player friend here, that's us. We already hold the key. Oh, we do. A bullfrog is gonna come. And this is a. So I definitely need a squirrel soon. And. Uh, I don't have six. Um, hmm. I can play a shunted wolf already. Oh, that's that's what the token is on the left. Uh, I don't think I can play anything else, so I'm just gonna pass. Um, take another squirrel for now. And play it. Do I need a stoat as of now? Um, stoat would be helpful, clearly. Be sure why not let's let's put a store here bad play wow i'm already being that's done um bad play wow now i think i know why it's bad play uh i can go loose with the squirrel in the middle but um uh, wow i don't think i can stop this attack Anyhow, yep. I'm gonna play it. Oof, oof, oof. Ouch. I think I'm gonna lose already. Do I have six already? One, two, three, four, five. I just have five. I have to get a sixth one soon. This cannot. That's one mistake already. Oh, okay. I don't think I want to go again with the boss, especially after that big mistake. So I'm gonna try and get a new card. Original. Oh, also. So whenever you lose to the the boss, it kind of takes a photo of you and allows you to custom build a card with a different cost or different. Like pick a cost from these following options. Pick. Uh, health and damage from these following options pick a sigil from the following options and take a picture of you and put a silhouette on it I don't remember which was what were my choices here but that's what I went for uh, 
um, which I think is a good choice here. Um, I think I'm gonna continue with the fire and improve the health or something. Pick something else, okay? I need to improve health. Rattler is six, which is hard. Uh, Amalgam, I haven't able to reach. Uh, should I move the lower hint options for me? Yeah, adder and I think adder is helpful. No. with this oh its adder is gonna improve Hunter wolf I have seen this make haste I don't know my wolf my wolf uh, stamping sigil isn't awake. This way. Um. Probably play like a bullfrog. Just this. Wow. No, no way. Oh, that's that's hard. A squirrel. Play a wolf. Hit it. Oof. No, 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 no. Where's my hourglass? I need an hourglass right now. Play a stink bug. Yeah. Play a square and uh, do the hourglass. Just enough chances to flip this down. Is that correct? My plan here is this moment must defeat him first. I think I can defeat this one. Um, I'm gonna play it here. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Head, head, head. More head. Uh, what's the score? Let's see. I must defeat him. Wow, that moral choice. <laughs> Really putting in a tough spot. It's me. I have too much to do in the next turn, so I think I'm gonna. Here. That's me. As per the narrative, there is a different kind of loop going on around. So, at first, the stout was. Now, this is another element apart from the gameplay mechanic, which is um, the core loop, which I'm going to talk about a little later. Um, comes down the narrative. Uh, the stow is trying to escape, so I think that is not just a or an animal. It's a different. friends which were located in the house puzzle in the claw I rescued them I think all of them and now they are planning and they want my, my help because that moral the moral decision making of the narratives is very interesting I'm not a narrative designer per se but I think it kind of ties pretty 
uh, on how the game is to be uh, these interesting design choice uh, these interesting points uh, along with our decision making you are making you are making decisions uh, whether you want to help whether you don't want to help I think I think red games papers please also does that kind of thing tying you into those narrative decision making although it has nothing to do with the game itself thinking is has been influenced by the elements in the game so for example in a game like far cry where you are where you want to or hunt animals to make pelts for greater ammo but if you had a species of animal they would be upset or they wouldn't help you so if you kill like dogs for instance so if you had a pet dog if you hunted dogs in the wild while you are with they wouldn't like it and they would talks you want to have um like a higher ammo capacity but you don't want to kill the dogs or uh you you pet some other kind of animal or you you dogs are looking for another hunting animal probably its rival of a dog or something that would make the pet dog very happy so that narrative element that that is a sub plot with the running although in far cry you are doing nothing with dog or yes there is elements of like nothing that not necessarily comes into the core loop kind of does but the idea is influencing the decision making there so putting the players in spots in uh, a game where this can happen really like racing game or like mario kart young mushrooms or something you encounter a small object stranded by a mystery serious woman it was a trader that hold trapper oh yeah the trapper yeah the trapper wanted something but you were mollified by her offerings we might have examined the spells of yours yeah i had a rabbit pelt yes Oh, 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 a lot of choices. Uh, I see a lot of new sigils, so I'm gonna just read about it. Hefty. At the end of your own, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed. And so the features in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Oh, so it's gonna push the uh, cards to the right. Move back. Wow. uh three sacrifice that's quite a lot but seven health interesting i remember this um uh, it will jump to the md1 what about this bell ring something with the bell wow refer so i think i think talking about systems they have like the inscription itself has done a really good job of systematic Uh, elements in the game. So, uh, obviously, playing cards in the lanes are systems, right? But its interaction with the lane and uh, like switch the like cards switch lanes after they are played, or there's a bell thing which is still covered, but pressing a bell is a system. So, uh, it kind of creates this core loop of um, you are playing a card or. the playing cards which includes sacrificing other cards and playing whatever you want to play um and then the bell followed by whatever the ai is going to do which is already predetermined like not predetermined but yes it's predetermined it's also previewed for you for the player 
and then comes back to uh, picking a new card which is again squirrel or this and all along this while you can play uh, the the backpack items on your turn so that's the core loop of the uh, the card playing element of it if talking about the whole game it's like uh, play the game you win or you lose so if you win you get go to the same scroll continue if you lose uh, you you lose one of one of the two available mistakes if if that's your second mistake you lose the game and you start the scroll all over again uh, but if you win it just kind of continues you back into the scroll you're moving forward trying to finish up that scroll so the systematic elements of what each, what the player does at each moment is kind of interesting um, airborne the card brings the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing to it what about the other one Waterborne, the card brain sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while so much opposing creature attacks its owner directly. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm I don't think one one is a really helpful deal. I like the moose buck though. Or the black goat which kind of gives me like three Blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. It gives me a lot of options to be honest, the black goat. But I, I'll have to play squirrel, play a black goat, and then sacrifice it for another card, which is a very big process. Like I'm I'm hoping for the cards to be really, really lucky in, in my four or five card hand. Kingfisher is a good. Uh, I'm still thinking between Kingfisher or the Black Goat, but I think we have a Black Goat though. I don't, so I'm gonna go with the Black Goat. Just wanna run into the meta of sacrificing and uh, bring it back. These spells are most excellent. Thank you. Okay, so I want pelts. I want more pelts. I think this is the new symbol again. I'm surprised by how different new symbols are still encountering it. It shows the depth of what kind of game it is. Like it just the features and the elements that they've thought of off of the base game of card playing and sacrificing. There is improving health, improving power, grading of cards, uh, uh, sacrificing a card for an improved sigil. Stamping comes into play. So like a different thematic elements that kind of tie well well together is interesting uh you going to see if you got to the thick cloud of spores you are the mycologists yes and we are performing our experiments far from we are not welcome into it. we will experiment on your flock yes we will need two of the same creatures one for each of us Oh dear, oh, you don't have duplicate cards. Yes, I don't. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. Now it's giving me uh, an extra P. I think Rattler is a good copy to have. Just because, I mean, <laughs> that's me kind of being paranoid if they come back and ask for two of the same cards again. Then I can give them the rattler and I wouldn't be so sad. Oh, that's a mini boss. I don't think I'm going pretty good at this, but we meet again. Stunted wolf. Okay, so it's working. So the wolf thing is working, which is good. Uh, Kingfisher, uh, coyote, and another kingfisher are gonna come in. I need a scroll. I need use it for a black coat. Um, I think I made a mistake. My black coat's gonna die. I think my four damage done. 
do I have do I have like four oh. no I don't have four I just don't use me wisely okay failure to user nothing will happen this bottle of goodness no use really that's what it is and they're back with sparrow oh i'm what i'm about to die i think i need something important oh yeah this is helpful mm, like this. i'm gonna try this i'm serious you cannot use that there is no possible use for it i'll place it on the shelf over there for now my device avoid it over oh that's on the shelf so i need to go and see the self trying to turn the tide here it is very hard these 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 things are kind of i don't have two sacrifices yet wow i'm still gonna try and attack Still just have one sacrifice to make. If I play a squirrel here, it won't attack Ash. No. But oh, there's an ant. There's an ant coming in. Let's hold on. There's another three point of damage. No worries, I think I can handle this. Take another squirrel. Play both. And sacrifice it for a man. I I don't care about the one one. I think I can take it all. That's fine. Totally fine. I'm gonna see what option do I have. Oh, one sacrifice. One sacrifice. I don't think I want to sacrifice. I'm gonna attack. The tides are turning. I, I like the positioning. It kind of has affected what the other player can do to me. And I go. Hopefully the lucky draw. So I'm 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 holding on for the squirrel rounder. I was holding for like the bone tokens to be used. I have fewer bone token cards. So all this while I'm also thinking about the deck, which is getting buffed. Like a lot of the cards are being added. Um, I think I think the the deck building element, like even board games, right? The games that have the deck building element of it, it is a very nice kind of way to enforce the decision making process. So, like, you want your deck to be efficient, so you're trying to buff up and collect as many cards. But the more cards you have the less likely it is the the better cards are going to turn up like the probability of powerful cards is is lower the more cards you add so you over time you want to you want to buff and then you're suddenly you're starting to remove the starter deck or the uh, the older cards which i think is is a very interesting mechanic in general i don't know if if there's a way to improve up off of it but any deck building game have that uh, start game, mid game, end game where it starts. Everyone starts off kind of on the same deck or similar kind of player resources, and then you're playing your own game, trying to build a deck really personal, really ownership based. Uh, only to realize that uh, in the mid game, only to realize, okay, wait, um, I have too many of it, and I really need to get rid of probably the starting deck ones. Uh, the starter cards which are now less powerful or improve it for the other ones um the other way oh yeah the board game dice forge is interesting because they have they did the same thing but you are kind of making a dice so it's a six-sided die you have two six-sided dice um and 
some of it are resources uh, like most of it are resources and some of them are victory points and all those so every time on before anybody's turn everybody rules collect the resources and then the player plays their turn so that, that's the that's the turn order everybody rolls on whoever's turn it is and then the person whose turn it is they kind of take their turn kind of spending their resources or do something else so every every time it's your turn uh you are um setting yourself for the next few turns like what do you want to get from the next few turns you're hoping to get better things so you want to get rid of like you literally kind of um take out the faces of the dice with the messiah and plug in new faces from the pond or whatever the market is which is interesting i i really like the tactile element of it especially of board games but dice for this tactile element is crazy good uh another a depth king fisher a slippery hunter uh the tenacious king it moves over an attack leaving its trail behind when a card bearing the sigil would be struck a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right i really like the kingfisher in the previous turn so remember in the previous time i was talking about if something is airborne it can have more damage especially the sparrow thing right so this is this is where i think they kind of had thought of as a player you were not really acquainted by this kind of sigil so you were i was thinking i was putting myself in the designer shoes and thinking why is why is in there like a faster damaging flight or airborne thing right but coming to coming on this where after my turn this kind of gets submerged but still stays on the field it's interesting because it's hard to kill it so having lower damage on this really makes sense so if it's if it's harder to attack i can still keep the card and keep attacking the other opponent player without getting attacked even though i have one health nice so th so okay, this is a system again so now they have there's a sign of a good system when you when you kind of conjoin it it kind of makes into something new so imagine you just had an airborne and a submerging thing now you're kind of merging it and you see the two sigils there talking about starting earlier the patchwork of two sigils over here i don't think it would have been really chaotic the way they have done it but it was an interesting choice to not do the patchwork on the bottom center but add it on the top left hopefully you can add more patchworks down the line probably in a vertical way or a horizontal way not the horizontal since the top right has the sacrifices so probably like in a vertical manner but hey i think i think this is the boss battle and this is a checkpoint not not a checkpoint but another symbol so i'm going to go and try what that is in you in you intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant oh see uh the deck building game now here whatever card i select would be gone like i'm reducing my deck i'm reducing anything that i don't need um but all of these are good wow all of these are interesting sting bug is great for especially one attack thing bullfrog i've been i used it a lot um i need to rattlers uh reginald kingfisher i just got it do i need to get rid of something i need to get rid of something but which one of it I don't know should I get rid of the stout I think that has good health and this is good too this is good too so I think the main characters are great bullfrog has its has its interesting power that it can block airborne which I haven't really seen in the previous two encounters and I just have one mistake before the next boss fight
I think it's the rattler. I think it is. But however, the bone lord was pleased by a sacrifice, so I get something in return. Uh, minor boon for the bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Minor boon for the bone lord. You start. You shook off the viscer of the poor rattler and carried onwards. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen when uh, the two traders arrive, but no, I gotta beat this again. <laughs> Health King Land side by the back. Brack, brackish pond with the feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to its feet. I'm the angler, so fish. I get one extra bone. Oof, Reginald is helpful. I'm getting a Kingfisher soon. I'm gonna play Kingfisher too. I don't know if I wanna play the Kingfisher like just before it. I think it's probably a good idea. Attack and get submerged. So you attack and I'm submerged. Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh, did what? What's that hook sign? Um. Uh, okay. I can't get another big thing before sacrificing a squirrel. So I'm gonna get something like this. Oh, this is helpful. Adder is really great at this. Um, I can't play anything else clearly, so I'm gonna hit. Have a fair trade and get another Kingfisher on board. Wow, it just hooked my fish on its side. Oof, that was hard. I still can't play anything as of now. Taking damages. Fair, fair, fair. Player Squirrel. Reginald. After Reginald attacks, it's gonna push it with their side. And I lose. That was a mistake. Let's see what does this guy does. I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and see again. The like creation of a new custom card. It's a really nice element. The moment to moment gameplay of this is very meaty, very juicy. Like you are always on your toes trying to think. Uh, not just in the boss fight, like even on the scroll or even picking which card to add to your deck or remove cards. Like each and every interaction is meaningful and uh, useful to a point where you know what kind of implications each decision is gonna take i would take a memento so yeah this is the card uh, so i can pick a choice cost from so the cost is on the top right it's two blood obviously so i'm gonna take two blood uh, power and health i like the power and health of wolf obviously which is greater sigil Bullfrog sigil, yes. And uh, mighty, mighty, let's go mighty. And now it's gonna take a picture of me. And mighty would, I would come across mighty uh, on my next playthrough. <laughs> Here I am.
I got the frame roll. That foul stunted wolf. You really want such a creature on your deck. The sight of it. The sight sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dead, so it stands. Oh, is that is that my hand now? Stink box toad bullfrog and this. He did put something on the shelf. I remember. Oh, I got I got gold teeth. Oh yeah, the here it is. The pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. So I need to steal the camera to be able to be useful. The film will be useful. Uh, nothing. I had the astral vision, but I think now it's gone. So yeah, um, talking about like designing it, um, I think the sequential order apart from like balancing it also comes down to the core loop and the moment to moment gameplay experience. Like what kind of, uh, so when I say the interactions are ju juicy, what kind of uh, decision making progress is gonna take into like what kind of information that the player has so each of these oh, i think i might have um discovered all the road symbols that the game has to offer yeah so you know the so now you can use those elements to generate maps like these where uh you want to see where the players want to progress uh so in in such a game you see there is some sort of a pattern here where initially you have a bit you obviously have a starter deck then you get um a, a free card over here you uh, there's a free card there's another free card or like a choice of a free card you move on to like improving something basically you're given given a starter deck you're given a few buffs or extra cards to set yourself up for a mini boss fight which kind of like gives you a rough idea how the cards work and while also giving you backpack resources and newer cards along the way uh, to be just enough or probably more what you need to defeat the boss and then in the boss battle um, you you it's a very critical spot you are just there you just have one life and you're doing you're using your skill i think they might have the the learning curve might be too much but i think that was expected you don't want the players to completely demolish the game the first time they try it the boss needs to be hard and coming back you want to see uh what happens after you lose so a lot of the times uh players are expect the players would lose right it's very hard to finish the game one try so what kind of bonuses or in uh, incentives the game gives to the player to continue like for example you get a custom card you kind of name it and then in the next playthrough you get to see it back the seamless part of it is really amazing usually in games usually in games like this whenever a session is ended whether you lose or win you kind of get to get to know your summary and realize okay this is game loop a game session as per the idea and then you kind of step back and start all over again i think i think white parent a mobile game was also of similar sort 
where you kind of when you lose you die and you come back to base only to start off your journey from the first step again but here this